today I am here with a new video and today I am doing a get ready with me and talk about some favorites I have had now in February and maybe a little bit from January I don't know and uh, I'm just going to talk about things and if you don't know who I am my name is Lisa I'm a cruelty free youtuber that does a lot of makeup content here and I am going to find my eyeshadow base. Um, today it's just a get rid with me. I do them sometimes. And you seem to like them. <laughs> now I gotta find my things. And I was just like sitting down and had no idea what I wanted to use for my eyes. I think I'm going to use this one. Uh, Lime Crimes Prelude Chroma. It looks like this. I did a first impression and uh, get ready with me with this in December. I liked it and I want to use it so I'm going to do that because yeah my get ready with me doesn't necessarily um, surrounding uh, the makeup I'm using more what I'm spe to speaking about talking about. And do I have one of these days where I can't, like, talk? I might. So I don't think I will tell you which colors I'm using. I'm just going to do something. And you're just going to watch me. And listen to me. What I'm saying. And I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to do today. Because I don't know what to really talk about. I have wrote down some subjects on my phone that I want to talk about in Get Red With Me, but I don't know if I want to take one of them now because I want to talk a little bit about my favorites I had this month and one of them are absolutely... Oh, this one, the Club Nebula Palette. Neb Nebula. Nebula Palette. Nebula. Neb Nebula. This one, Jesus Christ, um, and I was planning on using it, but no. For some reason, I took this palette instead, and it's not often like I sit down and want to do a video, but don't know what I want to use. But today, it was though this kind of a day, and I. Maybe I can talk about this. As you know, it's going on things in the world right now. <laughs> and I am starting to feel a bit bored. And when I'm bored, I want to redo things here at home. We are looking to buy a house, but right now there is like no house that we want to buy. We are actually going to... Um, go and check out an apartment, like apartment you can buy, but we don't want to live in an apartment. It just was, the apartment is like, it's styled in 100% my style. On the picture it looks really really good and I just love it from the pictures and it isn't that far from where we live now. I think it takes maybe not even five minutes to go there. But we want to have a house because we don't want neighbors that close. But like it's never getting there. We are actually bidding on two houses. But we didn't thought it was worth it. When the price just got higher and higher and higher. And... Yeah, and now I just want to move out of here. I just want to live a little bit bigger. I just want to have my own home. The apartment we live in right now is, I think in in Sweden, you say it's two rooms in like US. I think you say one bedroom apartment because we have one bedroom, one living room and one kitchen and the toilet and it works <laughs> and 
and we just want more space. I want like a makeup room, we, my boyfriend wants, he got interests as well. And we want like, more like a library at home because we have many books. Mostly cooking books though, but <laughs> yeah. And also we are getting in that age. I'm turning 32 soon and my boyfriend 35. And we just want something that is our own. We want to owe something. And also like when we moved here, uh, we lived in a tiny apartment and then we we bought some new furniture, like we bought a new bed, a new couch, and a new dining table. But it has been like stuff that goes in the apartment. Maybe not the stuff we wanted, but like when we bought the couch, it was like it can't be too long because then it won't fit in our living room. And I just want to buy furniture that I want to have, not what is like going to fit in the apartment but like we're not going to spend a lot of money on the kitchen table if it doesn't fit our future home but now i'm so tired of this i just want okay, this shade it's not that good i'm like building it forever it's this one but yeah it's light so maybe it's supposed to be like this I, <laughs> when I am bored, as I said, I want to redo things. Firstly, I want to like redo myself, <laughs> but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't know. Should I get another piercing? I don't know. What? Drink a Pepsi? You have a lot to have. But yeah, I don't know if I want to do something to my face. I still have my septum. I just have a retainer in because I want to change. <laughs> So I told my boyfriend like I want to redo the kitchen and as I said we live we rent this apartment but we actually can like change whatever we want our landlord doesn't really care <laughs> it's been like the things you do would probably make the apartment nicer and if you do it yourself I don't have to pay for it so I want to redo the kitchen and we got a little visitor Ines. <laughs> Here is Ines, if you have missed her. Hi. She's getting pretty big. Actually, do you want to check in the camera instead? No. No, I do not. Oh, hey. Um... So I told my boyfriend um, that I wanted to redo in the kitchen and like paint a wall, one of the walls, buy a new lamp, buy a new table. And he was like, okay, we can do it. A little backstory to this. Um, I am not one of these persons that can see something like in front of me I <laughs> every time I want to do something my boyfriend reminds me of a time when I wanted to rearrange in our living room and I can't like see I have to move the things to see how it looks I can't like imagine how the things will look do you see Ines and it ended up with me being too tired to move all the furniture. So when my boyfriend came home from work, all the furniture in our living room was in the middle of the room. And I was like out of breath in the sofa. And now the other cat. They aren't usually allowed in here when I'm filming. But I was going to give them another chance and it's going like hell. Mm -hmm. 
Schokoladeschorle. Kannst du das noch her? Maybe I can't have them in here. Yeah, so he had to help me to move everything back. And I just hated with myself. And that's why I don't know how it will look in the kitchen if we start to do things. But I actually think that it will happen this time. Because I am so bored with this apartment. We have soon been living here for 10 years. And uh, yeah, I'm like tired to live with the furniture that just fits and that I don't want. And I don't know like with painting a wall and the cats because the kitchen is, we can't like close off the kitchen because here's the bedroom and the kitchen is out there and then you go through the kitchen to come to our living room. So we can't like close the kitchen um, so that's a little problem but like I really want something new do you also get like this tired of the things you have and the way you look and everything <laughs> and I don't know if it is because of the pandemic or if it's just just time because it's been a long while since we did anything my boyfriend needs to take the cats out because this is not working hey and I'm actually a little bit afraid of seeing this apartment that we're going to uh, go look at what if I love it and what if I want to live there and I don't live to And I don't want to live in an apartment, but at the same time. I'm tired of living in this apartment I don't know, but the thing that is like Sure we could buy an apartment and then buy a house after that Doesn't say like if we buy an apartment we have to live in that one for the rest of our lives but to move is not my favorite thing and at the same time we do not pay much rent here and we can save a lot of money and uh, that is good so, so we can buy a house in the future but at the same time I want something that is my own the only thing like I am a little bit afraid of living in the house What if somebody comes in when we are sleeping and try to rob us rob, rob us and kill us I'm a little bit afraid of that actually Maybe because I'm only listening to murder podcasts but also like it could happen but at the same time I would love to have like a yard and just to have something bigger and have something that is not like depending on the people that lives like in an apartment you always have your neighbors next to you I don't have much to complain about our neighbors but I just want something that is my own and one thing I really, 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 really want is an own washer. Like we have a laundry rooms here in Sweden. We live in an apartment most, it's the most common. So the whole house shares the laundry, the washer thingy. <laughs> it's not like you just have one machine and you go and do the laundry because you have to save things so maybe do laundry once or twice a week no once a week or every other week I just don't like that and I want a nicer kitchen as well we will see maybe Monday soon our dream home will 
you for sale. We can buy it and we can move out of here. But I think as long before that happens, until that happens, that is what I'm going to say, maybe we should just redo the kitchen. Okay, this feels like a super boring get rid of me. I actually think I like this look. Um, I will take away the fallout and wash my sponge. And do you want to see what has happened to this? Ines got a hold of this and chewed on it. So now I have to hide it. Because she has been taking this one and I found this in the kitchen one day when I got home and I was like, Ines, what have you done? So I'm going to take away the fallout with this sponge and then I come back and we do the base. And I'm wondering if I have some favorites when it comes to my base, but it's not like I'm be talking about favorites. I've just been talking about everything and nothing. And do you know what I just remembered that I can talk about? I am in a no-buy, so maybe I should update you on that. Um, my no-buy is going great. So far, I have only bought replacement things. Um, I have bought a conditioner, heat protection, hair mask, scalp <laughs> scrub and a face cleanser and with my face cleanser I when I have wore makeup I do a double cleanse so I bought a new first cleanser because I always when I have makeup I start with a cleanser that is not that special and is like good for taking away makeup because I want to take away my eye makeup as well. And my second cleanser is more like a cleanser you shouldn't have in your eyes. And that do maybe a little more for the skin. So I did buy a new first cleanser. And that is everything that I bought now. And I'm actually so happy with myself because now I have from the beginning I was like okay I'm going to have a no buy for three months and it is going so good and I actually think that I will make it this three months but I haven't yet decided what I want to do after <laughs> I don't know and if you want to follow my no buy journey for each and every day, I post every day. I'm trying to, I missed some like two days and I put them up to at one day. I like this purchase tracker for each and every day, I put it on my Instagram story. So if you're super interested, you can follow me on Instagram and you will see you there. And I'm just so happy that it's going so good and the only thing that makes me a little bit scared i have saved so much more money these two months um on my january salary and on my february salary i have saved 50 percent more than i usually save and then i've been like oh my god i really did shop a lot of makeup but I have bought some clothes and actually new shoes, but like my no buy was for makeup and skincare. And that is what my channel is about. So I bought some shoes and some clothes. And I also have, I've only posted one picture, but on my Instagram, I am going to post a little bit more about clothes because I... Maybe I can't use this sponge. Yes. Um, 
I want to be friends with my body. And posting my outfits on Instagram might help with that, but so far I've only posted one. Because I don't want to post like when I'm in my sweatpants, which actually is like every day. When I come home from work, I switch out from sweatpants, no, from my jeans to my sweatpants. And you might look at me now and like, but you dress kind of nice. Yeah, but I'm wearing sweatpants. Yes, you know. Sweatpants or leggings. I'm actually going to try. And another thing I can talk about that I have realized now, we, today at work, we got like masks to wear at work if we want to. Sweden does not have, they recommend you to wear a mask like when you go by train or by bus or subway. But other than that, um, no. Not yet, but I think we will get there soon. So we got like this fabric, fabric masks on work. And we don't need to use them, but if we want to, we can do it. And I think I actually I'm going to do it, even though I have had it, the virus. I'm not 100% safe. But like one thing that I have noticed, apparently I have a small face. With this like favorite masks, they go up to like here. So I can have them, but it's not su super comfortable. But like with those um, one use masks, these disposables, they like poke my eyes when I have them on. <laughs> We we tried at work today <laughs> these disposable masks and my colleagues laughed at me. So apparently, I don't know if it is that my nose is high up or anything, but if I was going to have it correct, it did poke my eyes. It took like my lower lashes. Do any of you have that problem? It's now that I don't <laughs> have that much to talk about. But I have been thinking a little bit about talking about one stuff. One thing that I don't know if you want to hear. Because it is about periods. <laughs> and But maybe I should take it because I guess some of you that watch me have your period. Um, but maybe not about periods like that. But like getting off birth control. I was thinking about doing a video only about that, but I don't know if I have that much to talk about. And then I saw a Swedish influencer that talked a little bit about it on Instagram. And then I was like, maybe it's some of you out there that thinking to go off the pill, but not because you want kids, just because you want to feel better. So maybe I should just talk about my journey, but <laughs> my journey, it feels so stupid to say that. And I don't know how long that will be. Um, but maybe I should just take it. And if you want to listen to it, you can stay. If you don't want to, you can go. But I have been <laughs> on birth control. I stopped like, was it two years ago maybe? And before that, I have been taking them for over 10 years. I started when I was 17. And in the beginning, I thought it was really good. Um, I didn't like had any problems. But then I have tried so many different birth controls. I think I've tested five different pills and I at one time I felt so depressed I was like my mood was always bad not like P is it called PMS premenstrual yeah I had like PMS all the time I wasn't 
like ever super happy and not super sad. I was always like, meh. And then I watched a video um, from a Swedish YouTuber or she do videos in English. I can see if I can find it uh, and link it down below. And she talked about like going off the pill and I was like, maybe I should try it. I do not want kids. It's nothing that I want. I have actually been thinking of, should I get sterilized? But that feels like a little bit too much for being in my age to getting sterilized. But um, yeah, I do not want kids, but I didn't feel good at all on birth controls. And as I said, I've tested, I think it's five or six different pills. And I felt like shit on all of them. And then it was... I don't know if it's called midwife and now I see I need to change the battery. I will be back. Yeah, I think it's called midwife. I was going to one and said it like, I feel like crap. <laughs> and I told her like all the different pills I've been taking and she said it sounds like you are sensitive to the hormones and in Sweden and I guess in the rest of the world uh, it's like two different pills one with two ho hormones and one with only one but I am apparently sensitive to them all and that is probably why I've been feeling shit so, being on birth control for more than 10 years, I just decided that I wanted to quit. And I did. And I can tell you, that is like one of the best decisions I ever made. Now, I still, I got really bad period cramps from time to time. Um, and I have my period kind of often. Maybe because I'm stressed, I don't know. But, like, how I feel. It's so much better. I got really bad PMS though, but it stays like for three days and then it's gone and then I'm like high on life <laughs> sometimes in a month and it just feels so good and it's for me it's really working and I am sad that I've been taking birth controls for such a long time. And it's like nobody tells you when you get them or they didn't tell me that it could fuck up like my feelings. And I'm so happy that I quit. And if you feel the same, maybe you should just stop if you have the possibility because I know that some people have such bad periods that they need to have something but I just feel so good it is one of the best decisions I've done and I can recommend it and you can always like try it for a couple of months and see what you feel but for me it's been working great and what's that I really wanted to say if you want me to talk more about it, I don't know, like, some people are not open to it at all to talk about stuff like that. But I feel like I have my period, maybe a lot of you that watch me have your period, and it's just a natural, normal thing. And I know um, Katrin Bernd was the is the name of the person that I saw talk about this. It felt so good to hear her talk about it and I really felt like this might be something for me. And it was, it is something for me. I, I feel better than I've done in years. If you feel like it will fit your lifestyle and if you also feel like enough, it's something that isn't right, try it. You can always start again. I'm using a cigar from 
the infinite palette from linda harberg i usually don't use this for my brows anymore because i wanted it's almost gone and i wanted to save it for an eyeshadow but i don't have my normal eyebrow things in here because they are in the bathroom but i like forgot how pigmented this is and another thing that i might can mention but i i'm not sure about the this i don't know if i want to slow down a little bit with youtube but it's like i have weeks where i don't want to film at all i do not want to play with makeup i do not want to talk about makeup and then it might come no videos that week but i feel a little bit bad with not putting up videos for a whole week. But I'm trying to find like a balance. But right now I am so tired all the time. Like super tired. I don't know if it is because I had the thing. Um... I don't know that you can feel like it can affect you in the long run. Um, I don't know if it is that. I have no idea, but I just feel not always, but a lot more often tired than I usually do. I'm just going to spray my face a little bit. But at the same time, I know that I need to go to bed earlier than I do. But it's hard. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but like in my dream world, I would go to bed around 9 p.m. Because I'm going up at 5 a.m. But it's so hard. The time on the evenings, it goes so much faster than on the days. I don't know what it is, but... It's so hard to like get in bed when I want to. Like the only day I going to bed early is on Fridays. When I don't need to go up to work the next day. But it's so hard for me like to just get in bed at that time. But I know to not be so tired I need to start somewhere. But it's it's hard. But like a part of me can't understand why it's so hard. But it's just this. I hope it's not only me. And I know the times where I have been going to bed at 9pm. When I wake up in the morning I'm not tired. It's just hard for me to go to bed at the right time. Even though I know it's going to feel so much better if I just go to bed now. But it's something that likes... Everything is so much more fun at night. And I can like get stuck on Instagram. Or on YouTube like, okay, I'm just going to watch this video. Okay, I'm just going to watch this video. And then it's 10 p.m. And I really need to go to bed. I'm a little bit stressed because I'm not in bed yet. And yeah, because I want to try to film more often than I do but I am too tired to do it when I get home from work and I know I am that because I haven't gone to bed earlier and okay so I'm going to have a lipstick to this putting on a lipstick to like a purpley look purpley gold look is not my best thing in my life it's not one thing that I'm super good at Maybe I should take this one. This is Immersion from Kaleidos. Okay, I think I will go with this. And I think that is all for my Get Ready With Me. This might have been the worst Get Ready With Me I have ever done. But I just wanted to sit down and talk about like... That I want to change in my life. I want to redo the kitchen. I actually want to like redo the whole apartment but... You know... I also want to like paint the bedroom, but no, just no. So maybe just a wall in the kitchen, 
buy a new dining table but I don't know I would love to have a round dining table but I don't think it will fit with a big and round dining table and I don't know but yeah <laughs> I will see if I can convince my boys for friend that we will redo the kitchen this weekend we will see but okay <laughs> i think that was all for this get read with me i really hope you liked it it feels like i've talked about everything is there anything more i want to say i don't think so actually i think that is all I hope you have liked this video. <laughs> if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I'm usually... I can't say that. I was like, I'm usually not this confused and talk about everything and nothing, but I usually am like this. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!